our, our company is foremost a, a coal company. That's what we are. We're for mining every lump possible. But we've also, we saw an opportunity here on an area that the coal has already been removed, has already been mined, on a way to allow our region to continue to produce power from that same spot of land. So when we saw that that opportunity was possible and early on when that we were doing the evaluations on how much of the sun's energy is available to us, then when we realized that that was, uh, that it was possible, you know, we thought, you know, this is really can be a natural transition for, um, for our strip mines in the area. If we can keep using coal, keeping people to work, and then we have uh, availability here for these lands to be used to keep powering our country, that's a win for everybody. To their credit, EDF embraced not only our vision of, of uh, doing a large-scale uh, renewable energy project on a mountaintop removal site, but they also embraced fully uh, a commitment to making sure that we hire a significant number of miners to help work on this project. And, you know, as Ryan and I both made clear throughout the process, uh, that's something that really sells itself. Miners are the hardest working, most skilled laborers that you'll find, I think, anywhere in the United States. And all they're aching for is just an opportunity. And we're very hopeful that this, this project will provide an opportunity for a number of them to learn a new trade, to learn new skills uh, that will be successful because these folks are the hardest working, most honest, most skilled workers, again, that we think you can find anywhere in the country.